So uh, the experiences in Prague College uh, have always uh, been positive for me. When I came here in, into the building, I always felt uh, the, the personal approach uh, with students, with teachers. Uh, the relationship is, is closer than what you get in, in like larger universities. And you can solve uh, your problems and your questions uh, in, in a more, mm, let's say, intimate way, I guess and you get to ask things that you don't usually get to ask. So you, you may ask your lecturers about things that are outside of the curriculum, maybe even some personal things, some things that may help you later in your career. So things like that, um, they always uh, touch my heart a little bit. So, so my, I'm going to talk about my first school year when I came from school directly. And this is mostly uh, directed at people who are coming from, from the school to, to the college. So um, during my first classes, I felt that uh, there is a similar setting in terms of size and how many people are in class and, you know, the teacher. But the, the relationships have changed and uh, you, you sort of, you have to not be only a passive receiver of information in that class, uh, you, sh you should, you should uh, feel more engaged and you should interact in that class. You should sometimes even take ownership and responsibility as uh, to what is going to happen in the class. So for example, uh, it happened to us that uh, we finished our curriculum before the semester ended and um, it was up to us to decide what we wanted to learn next. So we had to agree uh, as a class uh, on a topic that interests all of us and uh, the teacher would then go on to present it and we could even have a mature discussion about the topic. Uh, so you're, you're kind of on a, on a different level. You're no longer just a, um, just, just a student. You, you can also uh, participate on a higher level. Uh, I, I felt um, maybe confusion at first. I wasn't prepared for that and uh, it took some time to get used to this but after that you, you feel empowered to actually uh, have more control of what you want to do in the class. Uh, as students we always have obstacles and most of them um, are caused by ourselves as I found out because we, we delay our work or we don't ask questions in a timely manner. Uh, but most of this can be fixed, I think, by uh, having uh, good relationships with your lecturers and uh, listening to their feedback uh, when, when they have some. And when you, you get uh, yourself into time pressure or maybe uh, you have no idea what you should do on the assignment, uh, it's never a good thing to, uh, to isolate yourself and it's always better to uh, ask for help and communicate with your teachers and uh, if, if, you, uh, if, if you maintain a good relationship with them, I, I think they will always be willing to help you. So that's the way I solved most of my obstacles during my studies. So my, my career uh, started in a very, very interesting way. I haven't planned actually to, to start working. It was just, uh, we had a job fair here in Prague College uh, in the you know, un underground level. We had a job fair and there were a bunch of companies which came and uh, I participated. I spoke with multiple of them. I chose, I picked two that I liked and I just uh, visited Open, Open Doors Day. Uh, on the days that they suggested. And one of them was NCR, and NCR at the end of the Open Doors Day, they uh, asked me to, to write like an internship test, which I did, and they liked it, so we agreed that I, I could join so, some team that I liked in the company. Yeah, uh, how, quickly, how quickly I found my job? I would say very quickly, considering that uh, I haven't actually looked for it, it's like, uh, deliberately and the moment that I got the opportunity to start working it just it just happened on its own so uh, I would say 
that uh, this was the specific case of you know preparation meets opportunity so I, I, I was prepared for that and it just happened it, it was a multiple stage process of me f find, finding the job let's say I, uh, I started out as an intern um, I, I, I wrote the internship test and they asked me maybe I want to do immediately the the part-time so I wrote the part-time test as well but I didn't have time to actually because they need some spe specific amount of time to to be at work to you know to make it work so I started out as intern and that I've been an intern for half a year and then I, I moved on to the part-time job because it, it it was at the point in my life when um, the, the, the work itself has started helping me in my academic uh, work and I, I started feeling that the stuff in the college gets easier because I, do, I also work um, on, on myself at work uh, and so I was able to combine those two things at the same time and then when I finished, uh, when I graduated, I immediately I moved to, to the full-time employee position. Uh, I was always applying things that we learned here, uh, maybe not on all of the subjects, but uh, definitely subjects like uh, databases and programming in Java and also C Sharp. I was applying those things from the get-go and there is also some cross uh, dissemination, you know, in, in, from work to, to college and it goes both ways. So. You learn some things at work, it makes it easier at college. You learn some things at college, you understand something at work. And uh, this, is, uh, this, is a, this is a very nice process when you start feeling that's happening. And you start growing uh, much faster than if you just have one. So I would definitely suggest students to, to look for something like that, or look for an internship or a part-time position. Right now I'm satisfied with where I am at in, in terms of career and I try to focus on more on my personal development and you, you shouldn't forget that that's also an important part of your life. Uh, but uh, for my future plans, uh, I don't want to forget that I should be a permanent student because we are in IT sphere and engineering sphere. And if you, if you lose track of where you are, uh, in terms of your knowledge, uh, you can be you, be you can become outdated very fast. So uh, you you can either learn by yourself at work or in your free time, or which, which is what what I'm doing right now. Or if I decide uh, to switch positions or maybe switch projects to something that will interest me uh, in a different day in a different way when it interests me right now, uh, I would I would definitely look into getting uh, more formal education in terms like masters in a specific uh, computing area.